If you go to www.uclan.ac.uk slash student circus, you can come to this page here and it will tell you a little bit about what student circus is and what student circus offers. This is mainly for international students. However, if you are thinking about working abroad in another country, it could also be valuable for, for you as well. So you don't necessarily switch off if you're not an international student because there could still be something for you in here. Now, this one you have to sign up for. All the other systems, if you click to them, they should go into the platform automatically. Um, but this one you do have to sign up for using your UCLAN email address. And we do ask you not to use your UCLAN password when you were registering just for security purposes. Um, but, you know, the system has been determined to be all secure and everything. But, um, you know, it's, it's good practice not to use uh, your UCLAN password when you're registering for some, some other system. Anyway, so you can sign up here and register for the platform. Um, if you've already got a, um, a login, you can click login here um, and that will take you uh, to a login page where you can log in or you can register. And then you're coming to the platform here. Now, um, this there's a dashboard here that gives you kind of an overview of the kind of things that are available between the platform straight away. But we're just going to jump into these bits along the top. But I'm going to switch to jobs now. The first jobs that is showing you here are visa sponsored jobs. So these are great for international students because you know that the, the company that is uh, uh, listing the job actually does sponsor you with your visa. So um, you can see here, um, actually, I'm just going to switch this one to um, go back to visa sponsored jobs. There are 1,269, which is quite a nice number at the moment. And look, we have some quite big companies, Disney and British Aerospace and uh, Airways, sorry. Uh, but there's lots and lots of different roles available. And you can also select what kind of sector. So is it business? Is it engineering? Uh, is it other sectors? What companies or what locations you might like to work at? Uh, and whether they're internships, of course, or whether they're placements. So not necessarily all graduate jobs. You might require a placement. Or you might require an internship and so you've got those options there as well to select uh, so these are really good for international students because you know that these roles have been checked to so you know that with your visa you you would be would be able to to, to apply you know but for those roles um also jobs in home country this is good for if you're looking to go and work back in the country you've come from so if you come from germany to study in the uk you might then want to go back and have a job in, in Germany. So then you can look at that there. It's also useful, though, if you are looking to kind of find a job abroad. So if you wanted to go and work in, let's say you're in the UK now and you wanted to go and work in, let's see, Spain, you can have a look and you can, OK, there's some jobs in Spain. Maybe I'd like to apply for those. Um, so that's, and you can favourite the jobs as well. And it does keep a log of the jobs that you've applied for uh, to back in the dashboard over here. Um, also, um, yeah, and, and if you go into the job roles, you can have a look at the roles and it tells you lots. Oh, actually not much in that particular job role, so maybe that was a bad example. Uh, and did you apply for the job? Yes or no? So there we are. Um, but, but most of the jobs that you would apply for wouldn't be blank. Let's go and have a look at this one here. Ah, oh, here we are. So it tells you all about that particular job role um, for that particular one there. An internship with Disney sounds nice, doesn't it? You probably won't have to work on the, the theme park, hopefully. I didn't apply for it, but there you go. So you get you get all sorts of different roles in here. Now, this one here is called the Career Ignition Hub. Uh, and these are lots of videos about how to um, do well as an international student. So, you know, how hard is it to get sponsorship? Um, is it good to you know how to, how to be an entrepreneur? Um, businesses in the UK versus your home country, what, what what's that like? What's it like to work for a UK business? These are all of the queerest people who are doing videos for you in here. So the, the, the people who uh, know a lot about this kind of area and, it, and, and the videos continue on here as well. So um, how to avoid mistakes when applying for jobs in the UK. So applying for jobs in the UK is different to applying for jobs in your home country often. You know, so it's quite a good idea to have a little bit of watch some of the videos, get a little bit of learning of what it's actually like to make a job application in a different country. So it might be, though, that you're applying as a UK student to work in Spain. What is it like, you know, to actually do that? And you'll find that mostly in the country guides. And so if you go look in the country guides, so if I wanted to um, work in a particular country, 
I could kind of go and find out what it was like to have, a, uh, how would I make a, a CV for, to work in Brazil? What an interview might be like in Brazil? What it's like to network in Brazil? So you can basically get, have a look at the job. Uh, jobs. So if I go to go to the overview here um, and then kind of look through job sectors in that country. Um, but then I might want to find out what it's like to do a CV in that country. What are they looking for specifically in the CV in that country? And many of them will be the same, but some things are not. I mean, in some countries, they don't like photographs on the CV, but in some countries, photographs are mandatory. You have to have a photograph on the CV. So it's, it's useful to know. Um, so they have kind of lots of different kind of advice on things like cover letters and placements. and But these are mostly focused on it from an international perspective. So whereas in Korea, uh, Korea Edge is mostly focused on a just a general perspective of CV guidance. These are more focused on, you know, what would it be like for an international student writing a CV? Or what would it be like for an international student doing an online test? Um, so the focus really inside this platform generally is like a lot more focused around, you know, know what it would like to be uh, an international student. 